Hi, my name's Mark, one of the pastors here at Trillium. Last week I was in the emergency room. A young man, roughly 17, had had a nasty little spill. He'd been skateboarding and he was doing some hot dog and moves at high speed without a helmet and with sandals and he crashed and he hit his head on the pavement, cracked his skull. There was bleeding on the brain, lots of scrapes and cuts because he must have taken quite a tumble, scraped along the road for a little while. And, and, and when I got into the emergency room, the emergency room team was at, in full force. And they weren't worried about his scrapes and cuts and all that. They were worried about the possible damage from brain swelling that came from the trauma of his hitting the pavement with his head. And, and I was sitting back watching them at work. You know, we talked a lot about tough love. Tough love, tough love is the willingness to allow someone else to experience the full natural consequences of their actions. Uh, and to allow people to have the opportunity of going to the School of Hard Knocks. And, and, and knowing and recognizing that in the School of Hard Knocks is where some of the primary learning occurs in life. We, we learn some, really, um, some of the most important lessons when we go to the School of Hard Knocks. And this young man who's in the emergency room has certainly gone to the School of Hard Knocks. Literally, I mean, he really had a hard knock. It's a very literal term. It's for some people in life metaphorical and others, but in his case, he really did have a hard knock on the head. And, and I, I'm watching the medical team, and they don't seem to understand anything about tough love. They, they, they seem to be totally caught up with trying to rescue this young man from his actions and choices. They do not want him to experience the full natural consequences of his actions and choices that day. I mean, they're doing everything to minimize the possibility of any permanent damage from it. And I'm looking at the parents, and they're all in agreement on this. And I suppose if you take tough love to its natural or fullest extent, you could look and say, we should just let this young man experience the natural consequences of his choices and actions by letting nature take its course. Well, no one's having anything of that in the emergency room. And it got me thinking about the fact that, you know, I don't think when we talk about God having tough love for us, that God is in any way different from the emergency room team. I mean, God allows us to fall down, but never to the point of not being able to make it back home again. And while we may sometimes lose confidence in God because we don't see the big picture, nonetheless, the promise of God, we call it grace, God's absolute good to, goodness to us is very much like the emergency room team that, that uh, weekday afternoon. That young man was sedated almost immediately to try to minimize any possible brain damage. That young man was basically in a, a sleep to the circumstances, oblivious to what was going on around him. He has no recollection of what happened that afternoon in the emergency room. And, and I think that sometimes we're not unlike that young man. We have fallen spiritually asleep. We, we, we are oblivious to the full movement of life and the totality of how life unfolds for us. We're, we're, we're asleep or sedated in a way that we don't see the hand of God at work with in our lives. And so we lose confidence or trust in God's goodness to us. And it's unfortunate because in the midst of losing confidence, we move away from the willingness to fall and go through the school of hard knocks where the real learning takes place in our lives. It's only in the promise of perfect companionship and that perfect companionship that goes along tough, side tough love that we can have the confidence to really journey into the hard places of life and to do the work that was required of us to grow into the fullness of ourselves being children of God. And, and I'm, I'm thinking that maybe we, we need these secondhand reports given to us to, to allow us to hear and understand that God's total and absolute blessing is upon us all the time. The young man, I had to tell him what happened in the emergency room because he doesn't remember anything about it at all. He had no memory of it. We hear reports from Jesus and from others who talk to us about this this total love God has for us that's beyond understanding. And while it may seem tough at times, there's always this, this ultimate point in life where God will not let us fall beneath. And, and, and from the spiritual perspective, death uh, of the body is merely a small blip on the total journey home to God. And, and the promise of peace that Jesus offers to us today is not rooted in what happens or doesn't happen to us in life or the ups and downs that come to us naturally, or even having to go to the school of hard knocks and learn the hard lessons there. It's rooted in this peace, rooted in knowing who walks with us, and who journeys beside us, who's, who has a passion for us, and who's guiding us, and who waits for us.